Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. As always, a free way you can support this channel is by smashing up that like button, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, leave a comment in the comment section. I know that I have been away for the last few days. I was driving all day Monday and then I had different things at, let me think now, yesterday, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., noon, 2 p.m., and 4 p.m., yesterday. Yesterday was a really frustrating day because I wanted to dive on into this, make another video, just give some thoughts as to where I think things are going. Thank you for your patience with that. I, I did post some things on TikTok, and so I would recommend hopping over there and checking things out, um, and Twitter as well, World War WW Bitcoin on Twitter. But the big things that I've been focusing on are just these numbers. They're the lower 40s for Bitcoin. There are some, some barriers that if we can break through those barriers, we will be in great shape. So yesterday, Bitcoin tested, over the last 48 hours, I should say, Bitcoin tested a, a key barrier, which is the 200-day EMA, which is at $40,800. And um, we broke through that uh, three different times and did not turn that level into support. So we got rejected at that level. That's a very, very key level. If we, if we can break through that and turn that into support, I will be a little bit more bullish but then there's also the $42,000 barrier, which if you look, January 8th, we hit $42,000, got rejected there, took about a month and a half to climb back up to that level. And then when we broke through it, it was off to the races, hit $58,000 within a couple of weeks. So I'm looking at $42,000 as well. On the downside, when we broke through $42,000, that was that, that same day that we had that flash crash down to a little under $30,000. And so $42,000 is a very, very key level. After that, it's the 21 weekly EMA, which is at about 40, a little under $44,000. And so those three numbers are key numbers that I'm looking at. Um, I have been on record saying I am not buying any altcoins right now, I'm, except for maybe Ethereum. Do we call Ethereum an altcoin at this point in time? I don't know what to say about that. But there are three key things that I'm looking at for Bitcoin that if any of these three things happen, I will be an eager buyer of alts. If for some reason Bitcoin got below $30,000, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think that that means that Bitcoin's dominance is going to increase because alts are going to fall down even further than that. And at that point, I will buy up, certainly buy up some cheap altcoins. If Bitcoin goes above $50,000, Bitcoin will outperform other um, the, the altcoins as well. And I will be looking at alts as, um, as a means of, um, I think, What's going to happen is that people are going to take profits out of Bitcoin and start moving those into alts. So really between thirty and fifty thousand dollars, I am staying where I am by only putting new money into Bitcoin. Um, another thing that I'm looking for is for some reason if Bitcoin stays within this range of thirty to fifty thousand dollars, but then its dominance got up to fifty to fifty-five to sixty percent, that's around the time that I would start looking into altcoins as well. But again, for now I am purely only focused on Bitcoin. I'm hoping that we can break out of this range that we're in, hopefully to the upside. Unfor you know, if it happens to the downside, okay, it is what it is. I will load up on, on some alts at that time. A few bits of news that I wanted to share. First of all, I just I found this really interesting. Cristiano Ronaldo snub sees Coca-Cola market value fall by $4 billion. I just made a TikTok about this. And so Here's what, why I'm, I'm posting, I'm sharing this article. I'm sure if you've been in this space for a while, you've, and if you, especially if you've been following the Elon Musk stuff, that you've seen some tweets or some people comment that Bitcoin, because Elon Musk's tweets have such an effect on Bitcoin, if one man can control the, the cryptocurrency market the, the way that Elon Musk has, then it's not a legitimate asset. And that is absolute nonsense. Look what Cristiano Ronaldo did. He saw two Coke bottles in front of his microphone yesterday after the Portugal hungry game. He moved those bottles out of the way and he said water because Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo is really big on focusing on his health. Similar to Tom Brady, Ronaldo is 36 years old, Brady is 43. The reason why, it, at least they, they believe that 
they've had such sustained longevity in their sport is because of how health conscious they are. So Ronaldo, remove those bottles out of the way and Coca-Cola's market value fell by $4 billion. And so does that mean that Coca-Cola is not a legitimate asset to invest in because one man had such an effect on it. Um, it it's just that, that reasoning holds no weight. Okay, a couple other things. Bitcoin enters a wait and see phase ahead of the Fed statement. This is happening today. I got some questions about this. The Federal Reserve, what if they decide to, um, to taper things up? That's the, those are the big words, taper. Um, their quantitative easing, their relief, um, they're not going to do that. There's no reason. It's like being the fiscal libertarian that I am, I would prefer as, as much, as much as it would bring pain into the markets and into cryptocurrency, I would prefer if the Fed tapered off because they're just injecting this, um, this false, you know, they're, they're, um, propping us up, propping the American economy up, um, with their decisions. And if they, if they did that, it's like the, the crash that I'm certain is coming would just, it would happen. We get it over with and we could go on with our lives. But at, in, in these conditions, I highly, highly doubt this happens every month. Every month this happens and the Fed decides, no, we're just, we're just going to continue, um, injecting this false hope into the economy. I, every month and, and, you know, people ask me every month and, and my answer is the same. It's like, no, nothing's going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. They're continue, going to continue to inject this funny money into the economy. But, well, hey, let's wait and see. It's going to happen today. And if, if for some reason they decide to taper, yeah, it's not going to be a good thing for the price of Bitcoin for the short term. For the long term, this has no effect. But anyway, um, another thing that I have seen... Whales, all right, whales are now holding 48.7% of Bitcoin's total supply after buying 90,000 Bitcoin recently, according to a report. This is on USA Today. And so this is something that I've seen on glass node charts that I've seen shared on the Twitter sphere, um, something that I've noticed. So over the last month, short-term holders have dumped um, more Bitcoin than long-term holders have accumulated. But this is what's happening. Short-term holders have dumped, long-term holders have accumulated. And I'm seeing something recently sim similar with these, with the whales here is that, you know, the smaller accounts are the ones dumping. The ones that hold between, uh, 1,000 and 10,000 Bitcoin are scooping up all that cheap Bitcoin saying, thank you very much. And so as we are moving on, the trend that's happening is that the amount of accumulation is beginning to outpace the amount of dumping that's happening, which to me is only, it's a bullish sign. Does that mean that we are completely out of the woods, um, that we have seen the bottom? Well, to be honest with you, yeah, I do think we've seen the bottom. I really think we've seen the bottom with um, the price of Bitcoin at $30,000. I don't think we're going to go lower than that. Um, if so, you, you know my strategies, but you know, all that we're seeing right now, we're not seeing any major FUD. We're seeing some good news with things like El Salvador, with things like South American, Latin American countries. Um, and we're seeing Bitcoin being scooped up by the whales because they see $30,000 Bitcoin as something that, yes, I will gladly get my hands on this. This is a buying opportunity. And so I expect this trend to continue. We are progressing. I, and I am, as a result of this, expecting a small green candle for June, a slightly larger green candle for July, a slightly larger than that green candle for August. So what does that mean? That means higher than $36,000 will be the closing price in June, in my opinion. And then maybe, you know, above $40,000 will be the, the closing price in July, and then maybe upper 40s, lower 50s in August, something like that. And this trend that we're seeing of whales accumulating is, is to me, a confirmation that something like that is going to happen. Um, another thing that has me bullish over the long run, hedge funds aim for $300 billion in crypto assets within five years, survey shows. So this article had a different title recently. Um, they've changed it to a dollar amount, but this survey that, that um, I, I took a look at here 
shows that seven hedge funds are aiming to have 7% of their portfolios in crypto by 2026. So that equates to about $300 billion. That's just hedge funds. That does not include institutions. That does not include uh, New York publicly, you know, New York Stock Exchange publicly traded companies. That is just hedge funds. So how much more so those larger institutions, which only 5% of publicly traded companies um, have Bitcoin officially on their balance sheets. Uh, that doesn't include banks. That doesn't include um, countries. That doesn't include a whole lot of things. This is the direction we're going in, though. That's $300 billion. That is half of Bitcoin's market cap as of right now, a little under half of that. And again, that's just for hedge funds. How much more so when all these other things come? Um, congratulations, you are early. You are still very, very early when it comes to Bitcoin and when it comes to cryptocurrencies. This is the, the direction we're moving in. Uh, last thing that I wanna share. Um, new Bitcoin bull market holders are refusing to sell at 40K, data suggests. Um, just listen, 40K is cheap. That's all I want to gather from this. 40K is cheap that we are not, there are people calling for a $20,000, $25,000 Bitcoin. There's people saying that it's going to go to 11000 There's somebody I got an argument with on social, on a social media platform recently who's saying it's going to $11,000, but he's accounting for the, he's not accounting for the fact that the, the blow off top that we saw in 2017 and the double blow off top in 2013 were so extremely exaggerated and cartoon like that. And then what happened, the, the peak in 2021 that we saw at $64,900 was not any, by any means, anywhere near the velocity, the intensity of what those 2017 and 2013 peaks were. But he's not keeping that in mind. And so he's saying that Bitcoin's going to eleven thousand dollars. I think that's that's insane. That that is outside of the realm of possibility. If so, I will gladly add to my stacks, but that's not gonna happen. I'm not going to be given the buying opportunity of my lifetime with that. Okay. So I do agree with this, that bull market holders are hodlers, ho hodlers are refusing to sell at 40k. Um, who's selling their Bitcoin right now? I mean, I'm refusing to sell at 100K. I'm refusing to sell at 200K. I, I mean, if I'm going to be holding my Bitcoin for 20 years, which I will, I will be refusing to sell at a million dollars and much higher than that. So that is all for today. We will see um, market retracements as far as Bitcoin is concerned. We tested this 200 EMA. Um, so a couple of weeks ago and saw a 25% retracement from that. For me to see 39,100 right now, I'm not concerned. Even if I were to see 35,000 or so, uh, do I think we're going to see 35,000? Gun to my head, no, especially because this Federal Reserve announcement, I just highly doubt that they're going to be tapering off anytime soon. So we'll see, but um, hold strong. Again, U-shaped recovery, my opinion but I'd love to know your thoughts. Where do you think we are heading? Your thoughts on anything that I share today. And again, like and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will most certainly be seeing you in another video. Peace.